Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chili Mango and we are carrying on playing Interloper on the Long Dark. So we're going to try and get ourselves in a position to make the bow and arrows. So we need to get guts, we need to get some more metal and then we're going to hopefully in this one or the next episode make our way over to the forge. So let's get to it. I'm going to need to eat soon. Right, okay, so we're a bit low on water. That's fine. We can just drink. Let's eat those peaches because they're a bit off. Nice. And let's drink. Right, perfect. So I think we should make our way over to the dam. I think that's probably the best bet. And then um, let's go and get some of the materials we need to be able to craft. So it is early. We might get a little bit chilly. But it's fine. So can I get down here or is it dodgy? Should we try it? <coughs> Crouch and let's go slow. <coughs> oh dear. So you can actually walk down quite a steep gradient. You just need to be careful and you will get sprains. It is just what it is. So we'll have a little loot of these trailers. See what we can find. And then get to the dam. we doing on twigs we're doing okay well, we've got quite a few books haven't we yeah so we'll just check out all of these trailers and then carry on go for this one first Bit of wood. Yeah, so I feel like we're getting there now with our tools, what things we need to be able to that craft. Just check underneath here. Well, that was something then, but I think it's just the strap. this one we are very heavy sewing so kit open what do you need bandage can opener bandage always helpful excuse me Feel so good. Do you not feel so good? Oh, that's just your spray. And last one. I don't feel so good. You're fine, don't worry.
The light's getting a little bit flickery. I wonder if we've got any lantern fuel. Smarts. No. Nope. Nothing. Let's just see if we actually do have some lantern fuel. Yes. Right. Oh, we're heavy, but we're not like massively heavy. There's a lot of sewing kits. Yeah, so as soon as we start hunting, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah. As soon as we start hunting, we're going to then go for well fed. Get that extra weight capacity. And if we don't find a bedroll soon, I think first things first is hunt some bears, make a bear bedroll and then we can start thinking about going to the other regions like Ash Canyon. Is that a wolf or is that a rock? It's a rock. We're fine. I don't feel so good. So I'm pretty sure as we go around, we're on the right side of the dam. So then we'll loot the dam, make our way back over to our base. I don't think we have any guts in this region curing, so we need to prioritise that as well for the bow. So we're quite near now. Just follow the train tracks down oh, here. That is what's good about this region, is the train tracks. If you do stumble across them, you pretty much know where you are. I think there is a deer carcass around here so we could use that to get some of the guts and also a bit of meat. Oh, that hurts. I don't like picking them up. Can I hear something? Yep, there you go. <laughs> Thought I could hear something walking around. I don't feel so good. Never been so hungry. Get ourselves in here. Usually, well, this doesn't have any wolves in it. So we're getting to here, we're fine. Yeah, so I can't remember what I was saying, but yeah, with um, carcasses, we will find some on our way back. Get some of the guts. The meat, the hides, and then we'll use them. And then I do tend to leave all the rest of them in the world for just collecting feathers. So now this is going to be 
The long search. <laughs> There's the lamp. Just gonna do this methodically. <laughs> very, very entertaining to watch. Wonder if the owner's around. Nuts and stuff. Hacksaw. Always good to have a spare. just have a look. Do we need... We're doing pretty well on all of our stuff. We've got all of our slots now that are filled. Damn, so we're smarts. at a good base. I do hate this place at night. I get very stressed. later. Come back to that, I'll turn the light off. Simple tools. We can put those back at our base. Turn this light off so we're not using it. Twenty-four? Bit off. Twenty two. Twenty two thirty six. Yeah. This will Ooh, be very nice. That's what we like. So we're going to take, take real good care of those because there's not many in the world and once they go, they're gone. Much like a lot of things in this game. But... Oh, I nearly missed that. I don't feel so good. Okay, so let's carry on going round. So if I don't see any metal Ouch. Damn, that's lying smart. around, we then start taking things apart. Right. I'm just going to leave some things here. Just so he's not constantly telling me off.
I'd really like is an expedition poker, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think usually you get those from Timberwolf Mountain. Upstairs. I'm just out of this stuff. Soda. Is it too dark in here? Let's see if we can get away with not having our light on. Do this fast. Ah. Alright, there's very stressful music playing. It's a very stressful game but the music just takes it to a whole new level. Get downstairs before we run out of on some fuel. This episode will probably need to be known as like the opening of the cupboards or something like that. Because I feel like that's all we're doing. to loot the bottom of the dam where you go to the ravine I think I'll just leave that there now for now oh, that hurts we do that. Oh, I hate that sound. That really does go through me. So let's just have a look what... Something to eat. So we're doing this in the forge. Arrowheads. So one scrap of metal makes two arrowheads. So if I've got four, that's eight. Now I really want to make twelve. So I need four more. So if I just get this. And that's six. Yes, so that'd be great because I do want to make Improve hatchet, which never thought I'd be dying from starvation. Oh, I need some more scrap metal for that. Five, six, seven, eight. So I need eight extra. Let's just check. Let's 
see the condition. I need to drop something. It's okay. Right. Pretty confident we've got enough now. We're going to be very heavy. Yeah, right, we're roughly there, we're roughly there. So we're just going to get into those trailers, we'll sleep. There shouldn't be any wolves here because there is a storm, like we spoke about, they do despawn. Wolves, one of the predators during blizzards. So you need to make sure you know you're not near them because they won't despawn if you're near them. So it should be okay. So let's get into here. Let's eat. Let's sleep. And then we'll start making our way back to our house. I'm not going to be able to carry this. the weight of these. Oh. We'll drink. I have that. We'll drink one of these and we'll sleep. The one. Oh no, it doesn't have a bed. Can't see it, I've lost it. There you go. It's sleep. So, what time of day is it now? Still night time. So, let's try and pass some time. Let's just check. I've got cabin fever. Brilliant. Let's see what the temperature is and see if we can just walk back. It would help if I actually... this way. So full armor skank is good as well because of this cabin fever. So you get symptoms from obviously being inside for too long. It's basically to stop you from just chilling in a base constantly. anything right now. So what we'll do is we will drop off our stuff, we'll go hunting for rabbits, we'll get some guts, then we'll probably head over to trappers, go and get some coal from there. The cave that could take you towards Mountain Town. And then we will probably just need to wait until everything's cured. Which is a few days, I think. Ooh. Hope we don't get me some pesky wounds.
that's where we slept the night before, just up there. So I feel like we're doing alright on Into Up this time around. I tell you what, it does make a massive difference knowing the maps. Well, obviously, I don't know them all the way through. But just being in a map and knowing which map you're in and just knowing the rough locations of the major places like where you can sleep, where you can start a fire and um, those that are safe from predators it makes a massive difference. I found this challenging but a lot easier than last time I tried. a bedroll. We can sleep. We can basically sleep anywhere now as long as we're warm you know and the temperature's not going to drop. Oh my goodness. That I did not expect to find one. See I feel complete now. <laughs> I'm absolutely chuffed. And with that, I'm going to make the... Feels like a lot of gear. What's it called? The other bedroll. The improved bedroll. So, a lot warmer than the one we've currently got. You just need to get some ptarmigan down feathers. And then you can craft can that into a, a warmer bedroll. It's a bit more expensive to obviously craft and it's a bit more expensive to maintain, but in my opinion, fully worth it. Absolutely cracking. So that bedroll now will be constantly with us. And there's a little bit less pressure now to actually make the bedroll. Because if I hadn't have found that, I would have needed to make one. It just means that you can explore a lot more freer than having to go from bed to bed to bed. You know, in worst case scenario, I can just find a cave, get a fire going, sleep next to it, make sure it doesn't go out. You know, make sure I actually put a, enough fuel in it. And not let it go out like I've done my head feel thick. quite a few times in this room. Right, I can see a wolf. Good job I was crouching then. See? He was very close to me then, so imagine if I wasn't crouching, he would have spotted me straight away. So, there is a place you can actually go in here. I don't think you can get in here, but who knows. Ooh, 
it's not like that. So we can sleep anyway now. So, can you... so I wouldn't necessarily sleep here because it feels like minus six. The bed actually gives you a four plus warmth bonus, but it's still minus two. So I'd still be a cold. Is close. I don't have any stones. Should we just go? straight in front of us that we can see. We're not massively far off from our base. Can't see him anywhere, can you? Can you eat trees? See, in this weather, trees, not trees, sorry, rocks look like wolves. just behind this rock here to our left. We got this. And there's no point waiting in that trailer. We would have just wasted time, I think. Can I hear ptarmigans? lowest creep in the world. Not that I'm a creep, I mean creep as in Def I definitely heard something. I mean I'm sure these shouldn't be out at this time. Oh, that was terrible. 
please don't pay any attention to that. And we're back. Come in for you then. Just drop off the queuing. Let's just put this down because we're only going to sleep a little bit. And hopefully it will be daytime. Very nice. So, let's have a look outside. I'd eat anything right about now. Cabin fever, that's fine for now. Let's just uh, drop off as much stuff as we can. These will be curing. And uh, just drop those because we'll come back for them. And um, drop. Drop. I've got a lot of books. Drop, 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 drop. Drop. organize these things and then hopefully the weather will have sorted itself out. Oh. I decide where to put things. Okay, so is there anything else we can drop? Let's have a look. I'm gonna fill up my lantern. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Nice. Drop him back down. So, we've got a lot of things. We'll drop him. Coal. We'll drop him because we're going to collect coal, aren't we? Drop all of these. And how are we doing? Oh, don't be hungry, don't be hungry, don't be hungry, don't be hungry. Thank you. fever and then let's just have a look at our bedroll that's 80% so that's fine um, we need to make some more of that but hopefully the weather will improve drop that for now nice good we're good oh yeah we got that so Where's the wind coming? I'm not going to go just yet. Just because if I get lost. Are we not sheltered here? We are a little bit. Don't be hungry, don't be hungry, don't be hungry. Ah! That was cold. I've never felt so cold in my life. Well, let's warm up and get cabin while we're going at it. Yep, yeah. are we good? Are we good? Sounds good. Oh, haven't been in here. Hey, antibiotics. 
Nice. Right, we're off. Let's get some rabbits. Let's get some guts. Let's get some coal. I know there is a cave nearby full on musk egg, but we're just gonna get it now, I think, while we're waiting. Head over to trappers. Because the cave is literally next door. And there's some rabbits that spawn near trappers as well. And what do we do? When it's sunny, we light a torch. Or we make water. Because if we can light a torch and if we can get it to trappers, we're not using a match. Thank you. Make a few because I think I've only got three at the moment. Can I get another one? Yes. Okay. And now we're safe from wolves. So, we've been very sensible. And yeah, there's a wolf there. Not too bothered about him because we've got a torch. So if he does aggro onto us, we're fine. Walk past it. I do walk with auto walk. I just find it easier. Some more stones as well. I'll just take him for a walk. I don't think they can follow you indefinitely. I think there's like certain places that they can go. I know in Ash Canyon as well there's like a wolf line that they can't cross. So when you go over that, even if they are following you, the wolves won't continue to. This is Maxie's last stand. There's Mr. Bear. Just check out Max. I think it's Max anyway. Yeah, he's not following us anymore. Don't know if that's line of sight. Or they just give up after a while. Yeah, Max. Give him the plug. See any more feathers? Probably missing them. So Mr. Bear's over there. No, I don't want to. Getting kind of thirsty. Hmm. 
So there's some rabbits usually, just to the other side, the trappers. And up there is the cave where those trees are. I think we'll uh, get the bunnies first and they can be curing while we're going to there and have a look around. burning while we're collecting our rabbits. Come on, come, come on. on. Not a little fire. That did it. Yeah, and I do like doing that just because it helps as well with your uh, fire ability. But then our rabbits. wasn't properly. No! Oh, what am I doing? Right. Stop it. Do this properly. Some place to escape this cold. Thank goodness for that. Too much stuff to carry. some water.
swear I just had something. So they're in there. I drink almost anything about now. Oh, it's just clothes in here, isn't there? Right, okay, let's carry on. Just wanted to double check what was in here. Weather's changing. I'm gonna get this into the cave. Just because if the wind picks up now, my torch will blow out. And I would like to use them just to have a little search through here instead of using my lantern. And we've got a bedroll so we can sleep in here. So this cave takes us to a mountain town. Come on, Mr. Cole, where are you? through here. Now, I was going to say, why is there no coal? This pack is getting kind of heavy. lot of coal. Okay. 
we do have enough coal, but we'll keep going. So let's head back, we'll get to Trapper's, we'll sleep there, which I think Trapper's has the magical bed, so I think that particular bed, if you sleep on it, you regain more health than any other bed in the game. And we know that we can sleep there, and obviously we're warm, so we don't need to keep the fire going. Missed you. Come on. We'll break him down and get a stick back. And we've got some rabbit to eat as well, so we've got some food to for tonight. So you still get cabin fever risk in here. I might go on to Oh, you can see Mr. Bear. I might go on to sleep in that barn for a little bit. Help me with my cabin. Fever risk. Already checked this, I think. Yeah. Where can I find something to eat? We are going to drop these. Too heavy. Not smell. Eat one of them. And I'm going to read. No, 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 no. Oh. sleep for now. We're still cold but we shouldn't take damage. See, so it's two now. Again, we'll sleep one. And we should be getting there with our cabin fever, hopefully. Yep, yeah, no functions. Can't feel my hands. 
So it's this way. Sure, I can carry much more. In we go. Never felt so cold in my life. Yep, so we can sleep in here. It's fine. This is a cold there. That's great. I could eat anything. Right. Let's head back. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. of the goods. We will probably attract wolves. If you are near a bear, a or a bear is following you, wolves are, in fact, afraid of bears. So when a bear gets too close to them, they will run off, which is quite helpful sometimes. And it's quite warm, which is nice. Means that we can get back drop these guts and hides for the rabbits but we can just continue to just get some food will do us. Pick some sticks up because I did use quite a few is doing those rabbits. I might go this way actually. Oh no. I wish you could see owls in this game. That'd be cool. Little glowing lights at night. Sorry, little glowing eyes at night. Just in the trees.
So we should be pretty near to our base from here. We can just run in quickly. Let's try not to start this flare as we're picking things up. Person? Oh no, no, it's fire. Oh yeah, it's that fire I made. Mr. Wolf. to our base and let's drop our things. Then we can sleep and it will be sunrise. Can't believe how bad I was at those ptarmigans. Not usually that bad. We are inside. Strap our stuff. Drop, drop, drop. Go over here and we'll just drop the coal. And let's make our way upstairs and sleep. I think we're going to do is I think we're going to leave it there oh look at that 14 days that's amazing that's the longest I've ever survived so we're doing well we're on our way to 50 days so uh, I think we're going to leave it there for this particular session we are one step closer to getting to the forge and um, so thank you very much for everybody watching and I will see you next time goodbye